Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it is your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Mr. Welcome. Sponsored by Monster, not really, but yes. So today I'm going to be testing a new foundation and we're going to give it a proper like 12 hour wear test because I'm going to work, hence this very modest work top that I'm wearing. Anyway, I obviously gave in to the hype and I bought the HNB Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. That's so many words for a foundation. This is in the shade LF3C. I got mine on Be Perfect. I was just looking on Be Perfect one night and they had some light shades available because this is always sold out in the light shades on TikTok shop and on like the HM everything it's always sold out but they randomly had a few light shades so I just picked it up this is what it looks like I love the packaging it's very pretty and it like winds up to use so many people go on about this on TikTok it's like why I bought the Maybelline powder one it's why I bought was it the Shein one it's why I bought the NYX one I give in to the hype that I see and I want to test it for myself because most of the things I see on these things or ads and I'm like well I want to see what it's actually like so we're gonna test it this is it obviously on my skin right now we're gonna put it on and give it a proper proper wear test it's only 12 o'clock I've already had it on for a couple of hours and I don't finish work until 11 p.m. tonight so we're gonna give it a full in-depth wear test and see if it's worth the hype it cost me 20 pounds so it's not majorly high-end but it is not cheap at all so yeah if you want to stick around and see what I think of it, then uh, do keep on watching. Woo! Woo! Bet you weren't expecting to see someone this beautiful on your uh, YouTube screens this morning. Welcome. Even I don't know when this is going up. Look, fresh, beautiful kind of monster straight out the fridge. I've got the shakes. I honestly feel like I've spent the whole night out because like, I've got the shakes. I feel nauseous. But really, I just slept too much. But I want to get the... I want to... Why are you not going back? I want to get this foundation on as soon as possible so that we can have a full wear test. Can you move your little bahookie for me? Potato sitting right there. It is 9.51. I don't finish work till 11pm. So this is going to be on for at least... 12 hours at this point. I have swatched this on my hand just to see what the shade was like and I do think it's wrong but we're gonna go with it. Also I've primed with my Bobbi Brown about 10 minutes ago and we're gonna do this. So again this is LF3C. It's lovely boys. Who's mummy's lovely boys? You could probably tell my period is due because I never ever get spots and I've got like an outbreak of spots here. I've got one here, I've got here. Like my skin looks awful. Like for me, this does not look good skin. This is not good. So hopefully this foundation has high coverage. I will find out what it's supposed to do in a second, but let us start applying it. I'm gonna use my BK101 brush. How do you even get this out of here? I think I'm gonna look like an Oompa Loompa, but I have a very like, I've got a high neck, top that I'm going to wear to work today. So as long as I blend this completely down my neck we should be absolutely fine. Right, can I get you boys off my desk because I can't see in the mirror. Everyone I've seen put this on looks like a Simpson but they always manage to make it work. So hopefully that is what we can do today. And I literally bought this for the hype so I don't know what it's supposed to do so Let's find out now what it's supposed to I don't think I look like an Oompa Loompa. It is quite yellow, but I don't, don't think it's bad, right? Introducing the brand new HNB Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation, a full coverage luminous finish foundation available in 25 shades. I'm gonna put a bit more on because I'm feeling very um, insecure in my skin today. This foundation leaves the skin looking completely flawless. The luminosity of the finish reflects the light and leaves the skin looking healthy and radiant, covers blemishes, and pigmentation hopefully. Pair with the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer, I have that. It does make my under eyes look like a bag of dicks though so I'm not sure I'm going to use that. Um, and the Soft Focus Loose Powder for the perfect combination. I also have the Soft Focus Powder which I do like. Right. The shade isn't too awful on me. I thought it was honestly going to look like Bart Simpson 
but I don't think I do. Still see my blemishes, so there's no way I would put more on my skin, like more foundation, because I feel like I put quite a lot on. And I don't usually put a lot of foundation on. I had a dream last night that I was out on a balcony and I saw a girl wearing these pyjamas and then I went out to the balcony and she was like, oh my goodness, we're pyjama twins. And then she went back to her room and I went to follow her because I was like, oh my goodness, maybe she'll want to be friends because we're wearing the same pyjamas and she was laughing at me. This shade is not that bad. I don't know how it's looking like on camera, but on my monitor, and looking in my mirror, it's not that bad. It's yellow, which is good because a lot of foundations come out pink and I have a yellow undertone rather than a pink undertone. That does look nice on the skin. I wouldn't say full coverage, I would say medium coverage. Obviously you could put more on, but I do think it gets to the point of you've put so much foundation on, it just looks insane. Not that I look not insane right now, but you know what I mean. It's definitely evened me out for the majority like for the most part, I'm very even. Um, I've got quite a lot of sleep lines still in my skin if you notice, but they'll disappear. It's definitely got luminosity to it. The shade is a bit weird, like it's a bit green looking. But I think once I've got the rest of my products on it, it'll be totally fine. Like that, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I was really worried, first of all, the colour was going to be outrageous and I wouldn't actually be able to test this all day at work. But it's it's done a good job of covering. Um, let's put a bit of concealer on. I have the HMB and I'll use that on the other parts of my face, right? Because it's a very good concealer. This is in the shade SF0.5N. Really random names. I'm going to put this like where my cheeks are really bad, I don't know what. Hang on, but underneath my eyes I'm going to put my Huda on because the HMB is just not beautiful under my eyes. Anne-Marie mixes it with her NARS concealer and says it works really well on her, but just because I'm going to work and stuff, I want to just be safe with my concealer choice. I'm going to blend this in my sponge. The concealer's very like tart shape tape, I would say more hydrating, nicer than tart shape tape. So if you like the thought of that concealer or you like the shape tape, you will probably like the HNB concealer. Very full coverage, it's literally like apocalypse concealer. If you want full coverage will last, then you will like the HNB concealer. But on me with my like lines underneath my eyes and stuff, it just doesn't look beautiful, it just makes them look very, very testicly. Whereas the Huda doesn't, so look at the sleep lines. I had her concealer for so, so, so long. It took her quite a long time to release a foundation, but I suppose it's a small brand, isn't it? She's not a massive, massive brand. So realistically, releasing a foundation is a pretty big achievement because can you imagine how much goes into like formulating it and testing it and then I mean I can't imagine. Yeah this is this is now full coverage with the addition of the concealer. This is full ass coverage and if you like a full coverage then you might really like this because it's not flat as well it feels and it doesn't feel heavy like I don't feel like I've got anything on my skin at all and quite often a full coverage foundation feels very claggy and horrible. This doesn't feel like anything in the slightest. Yeah, I like it. I'm looking at them, I've, I'm like, I like it. I'm gonna be absolutely fine going to work like this. I don't feel self-conscious. Like, I don't think my makeup looks bananas. My skin doesn't look heavy and weird. And the color isn't bananas. And again, I'll be wearing a high neck top, so I'm not worried. So let's go and quickly look at it in natural light through in the living room. And then I will finish off the rest of my makeup, blah, 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 as we always do, but you know what I mean. Oh, okay in front of the window. Big light is not on, it's a very grey day. I was just waiting for Sausage to come and join us because he always does. <laughs> Look at the sleep lines. It's because I have a, like I wear a eye mask when I sleep. Obviously I've got major under eye bags. I've been working a lot and not sleeping the past few days but looking at the skin, it's, it's nice. I like it. I didn't use a primer, so I've got like no blur pouring. What? Per, blur, 
per... I'm gonna throw myself out this window. I've got no pore blurring, but I don't mind. Skin always has texture. You have to say hello because everybody's seen potato already today. Where's the birdies? <gasps> I can't believe it's not focusing. Two little kitty cats sitting on a wall. Beep, 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 beep. I'm going to die. Do, 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 do. So, we'll finish off the rest of the makeup. I've now got to pull 1,000 cat hairs off my face. Finish off the rest of my makeup and then we'll see what it looks like. I've finished off all my makeup and I wanted to actually have my fringe down, but it wasn't playing ball. I don't know why, so just ignore my hair. I actually detest my makeup today. There's nothing like actually wrong with it. It's just a plain brown eye, but you know when you just do your makeup and you're like, I just feel ugly as crap. That is me today, but that's not the skin. That's my like eye and like brow and lip choice. But looking at the skin, the skin looks really good. The skin looks absolutely excellent to be quite honest. I've literally got no complaints. I had to reset my forehead though, really weirdly because like I raise my forehead a lot and like put my lashes and brows and like do my hair and it was so settled into the lines I had to put more powder up there but on the rest of my face I mean I look a little bit textured but again as always that never bothers me I know it bothers other people on their own skin not on me but to me I don't care about having skin texture because I think it's really normal and just part of being a human so I actually quite like like it. <laughs> right, so the time right now is 12. I'm gonna leave in about an hour because I need to go uh, to the garage and also to Aldi before I go to work. But I'll show you my makeup again in natural light. I have, I might take my camera to work and try and like, I'll show you what it looks like under my like work lights. And then obviously we will do a check in at like midnight because I'm at work till 11 and if the roads are still shut off I'll have to do my big detour again but yeah very pleased with how it looks. I was hoping I would but I was also thinking I was going to end up like an Oompa Loompa but I do I look a bit pink there compared. Matching online is a nightmare isn't it like we all know this. Anyway I'll piss off and I will catch up with you on our first check in. I've just got in the car to go to Aldi's and my makeup looks really good. I mean, I hate my makeup, but I don't hate my foundation. I just don't like my makeup today, but these things happen. There's a lot of people around. I'm in the middle of Aloha. It's very awkward, but it looks good. I'll show you it again at work under like that kind of lighting, but yeah, it looks good so far. I just filmed a whole bit to camera, not realizing that the radio's on really loud and I'll get copyrighted. It is 3.07. Look who, why does love my screen save all this all the cops, the cops? So what time did we actually put this on? Like was it 10 or 11 a.m.? So it's already been on for a good few hours and it looks really good. Uh, I always leave my little mirror here. I think it's definitely gonna sit in my smile lines because it's just like the way it went in my forehead lines after only a few hours, but they still look alright. They're not the best, but they they don't look terrible. Um oh these are the melt Leo lashes, by the way. And he was wondering. No, my makeup still looks really good. It already looks a bit heavy though around my nose. Um, and I am not going to touch this up at all. I'm only going to touch up my lipstick throughout the day because I don't like that to look horrible while I'm at work. But uh, yeah, I don't have anything to touch up my makeup with. I never bring makeup to work except my lipstick. So yeah, that is our first check in. Good thing is, it is quiet today. My boss is very chill. So I can just edit this video that I'm filming right now while I'm sitting at work. Okay, I'll check up with you in quite a few hours because it's really boring to keep checking in when nothing's changed. Oh yes, yes, bum scratches. You gonna flop? You gonna flop? me? <laughs> yeah. That's a funny place to lie down. Okay, just got in. Obviously. Oh, I forgot I kept my blazer on. Okay, it's half past 11. You see? And I've not touched up my makeup. I put my lip gloss again on again after I finish my dinner. Let's see. 
my smile lines are definitely there but they're not actually that bad i'm so far away and so zoomed out they're not that bad my natural oils are totally through in the center of my face but i think that actually kind of adds to the foundation it looks nice it's kind of come up a little bit around my nose but if i do a big zoom in as we always do so yeah you can see my smile lines they're not that bad if i just give them a bit of a wipe, they'll disappear. That's it through the centre of my face. I think it looks good. A little bit off there and not so much there. And then on my forehead, after I reset it like midway through my makeup, it doesn't look that bad. Like I've had much worse forehead lines with other foundations. I think if you were very oily, this might not be the foundation for you, but then again, are you going to keep it on for 13 and a half hours? Maybe, maybe not. Do you know what I mean? And if I just powder this, it would look good as new. I could easily just go out and about and carry on my life. It would be fine. You know what I mean? So really, I'm very impressed by it, to be honest. I much prefer it to the NYX. I prefer it to the Shein Bam foundation but it's not going to knock my Makeup Revolution face and body veil off the top spot. It's not wowing me but I have to say I do like how luminous it is and how pretty it looks and how well it, it's held up. I like to sit on my hand at work you know I get bored and I'm like mmm and it's not budged down here. Uh oh my joy I always set my face well but still like I'm very impressed not a waste of £20. I will definitely keep getting use out of this. I do feel like my hands are a completely different colour to my face but that always happens. Anyway, obviously it's been a pretty long day of makeup wearing so I'm very excited to take my makeup off and get into bed ow, with my little laddies. So I'm gonna piss off Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Have you tried this? Have you not? Do you want me to buy the KVD foundation to try it, the new one? I'm desperate to try it, but I don't know if it's something that you'll want to watch. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more thrilling content from me, including lots of cat content, because they are my life. And I'm gonna piss off. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!